Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm Mark Larez Casanova from the Utah Master Naturalist Program. Thanks for joining us up at the Nature Center. We've got a special friend stopping by. I think that might be him right now. I'm so glad you could join us today. This is my friend Biological Soil Crust. He lives everywhere, but most of the time you see him in the desert. Uh huh. Okay. Biological Soil Crust is the foundation that holds the deserts together. It's the complex soil community that's essential to all desert ecosystems. Soil crust is really important to desert ecosystems because if you think about that loose, sandy desert soil, the soil crust really binds it together. It reduces erosion by wind and water and will provide little pockets for seeds to germinate. You can see these little peaks and little valleys and soil crust. And as a seed is blown along by the wind, it settles into one of those little valleys and yeah, right there. And it um, finds a little place to germinate. Biological soil crust has many things living in it. The main component is long filamentous cyanobacteria, which is a photosynthetic bacteria. When the cyanobacteria grows through the soil, its long filaments leave behind this sticky sheath and those sheaths bind the soil together. Cyanobacteria is photosynthetic, so it's using the energy of the sun uh, to produce food that other organisms can use. And it's also fixing nitrogen, right? Uh, it takes nitrogen gas out of, the, out of the air that we breathe and turns it into ammonia that plants can then use to grow. Biological soil crust can be damaged really easily. A single footprint can take 50 or up to 250 years to recover depending on how dry it is. What happens is that the crust goes away and that lighter colored sand actually reflects more heat up into the atmosphere and it pushes clouds away and can actually result in less precipitation in that spot where the crust is repeatedly damaged. That's what we're seeing in a lot of desert ecosystems. Right, right. The thing that we can do to help biological soil crust is to make sure we stay on well-established and marked trails. And remember, whatever you do, don't bust the crust. I didn't get my vest off. I don't I think I'm gonna ditch the vest. It's like too much stuff. Biological soil crust can be damaged really easily. Come on man, I'm trying to save my lines. Oh no, come on, it's alright. Don't worry. <laughs>